Let's talk about the future of these two telescopes. Both of them are, at the time of this recording, still operational. However, Hubble is on its last legs. It has seen multiple repair missions throughout its life. After NASA discontinued the space shuttle program, they are no longer able to go up and service the telescope. It has been refueled, and it still has fuel to keep boosting its own orbit for about another 10 years, so it's not going to run out of fuel anytime soon. What's more likely to happen is that some of these gyroscopes that's inside the telescope, they're going to Fail. These have already been replaced a number of times. These gyroscopes basically helps Hubble point in the right direction so it knows which way it's pointing. And if these gyroscopes are not functioning, Hubble doesn't know which way it's pointing and a telescope that doesn't know which way it's pointing is not very good. When these eventually die, they're not going to be able to point the telescope and they will likely have to decommission it. When it comes to the operational life of James Webb, I briefly talked about earlier that the orbit around Lagrange 2 is a semi-stable orbit. That means that James Webb does need to consume fuel in order to stay in the orbit. It was designed to have fuel for around 10 years, but they actually managed to get the maneuvers it was doing as we're getting out to Lagrange's point a lot more efficient than we're expecting. And they were also doing fewer maneuvers, smaller maneuvers than they initially expected when they calculated the fuel need. And that means that there's actually excess fuel compared to what the mission was designed for. So assuming James Webb is not going to see any mechanical or software failures, it should have fuel for a lot more than 10 years, probably going up around 20 or maybe 30 years before it's going to run out of fuel. So we have a lot more interesting science coming out of James Webb in the next decades to come.